Hey everybody, we're back. This is round two, and we get to be on the play again. Looks like a pretty decent hand, actually. I'm going to keep this. Uh, we're not going to use the Green Sun Zenith for the Arbor, although we could. I just don't think it's worth it right now. Um, Or is it? Doom, doom, doom. <laughs> There's a potential that it may be worth it. Let's take let's take a look here. Uh, would I like to mulligan? No. Um, I have two zeniths. That'll get me up in mana. Yeah, that's not a terrible idea. I mean, we get wasteland and we're completely and utterly unhappy. But that could happen anyway. And it's not like we can double up on white spells either. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna go ahead and get the arbor. Well, thought season turn two. I mean, if we if he plays something dangerous, we'll at least have an idea. We'll have mana up for uh for a lot of stuff. We'll be able to deal with the days. A days with dealing with days. That's right. We deal with days. Days. Daisy. No. Um. Didn't say that. That's definitely not what I said. You didn't hear that correctly. I promise you. So let's go ahead and just go get the arbor. As I look and it's like this card in my hand. I'm terrible with that and you all know that. Poor attention span. So we start off that way. It looks like we're Maverick then? Yeah, that looked like Maverick. Another green, blue fetch land. Let's go ahead and see what this gets us. Or at least our opponent. A Tundra. For Swords to Plowshare. I can live with that. I can definitely live with that. Um, Let's go ahead and... You know what? You played the Swords to Plowshares? Let's figure out what we're up against. You got something for me over there? Alright, we're going to get the Batter Skull. Blue White usually means some type of control deck. And I'm okay with having this Batter Skull against a control deck. Show me Tuna Salad. I would actually prefer if you played your own Mystic. That may seem weird, but that's what I would like you to do. Didn't play his own Mystic. Alright, I got to land though. I'm going to go ahead and fetch up. We're going to get Scrubland. That'll give us one of all of our colors. I'm going to Thought Seize you, sir. Ah, uh, he's going to brainstorm. He's doing that hiding thing. Oh, it's a counterspell. Okay. I can live with that, too. I'll save the life. I'm going to do this during his upkeep. Uh, Vendelian Click is still a card, so yeah. Yes, I'd like to do that. Boom. All right. And that'll take care of all my activity on his turn. Let's get rid of that. So the way I look at it is, we did that so that we could avoid Vandalian Click, which I'm pretty sure he's got in hand. Um, that being said, let's first deal with this portion. And I don't want to flood the board with a bunch of random BS. So we're in an interesting position. And so is he. If he's got the Click, he's got to try and stop some of this, maybe. Maybe he's going to take a look at our hand. Um, and in which case he could have Jace as well. I'd say it's a pretty good bet that he's probably got Jace as well. But looks like we're going to be able to get in for five. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and try and get Goyf. Creates an interesting situation for my opponent. I mean, he could be a miracle deck. I need to be aware of that. Yep. All right. So we got a spell pierce. I kind of figured that we'd end up with a spell pierce. Enlightened Tutor. I have something for that. Unless he gets a Humility, in which case we start hitting for even more. We don't really care. What did you... He just used it as a Shuffle effect? It... Oh, he revealed Counterbalance. Okay. Interesting thing to reveal. So he plays the Counterbalance... And I get a Bayou. Let's do this. Uh, pop and pop. Do you have it, my son? A brainstorm or a two on top? And if you happen to brainstorm, do you have a two in hand or in the top three cards? I'd expect yes. So, Enlightened Tutor, yeah, that's kind of sad. Huh. 
into Thopter Foundry. Well, that makes things not so fun. We were playing against Thopter Sword. That'd be awkward. We'll get in like as such. Um, hmm. We're going to draw a card at the beginning of our next turn. Or at the end of his turn. Hey, we drew a land. Liliana of the Veil. Let's do this. Do you have a three, sir? No, you have a zero. Liliana hits. We're going to discard. We have a backup swords in case. Okay. And we get to swing in. Bang, bang. There's that click. Let's see what he decides to do. Targeting me. He only has that Thopter in hand. He's got a land on top. So that Thopter's coming down. We're getting in. All of the joy. How do you like that? Played around it, played around it, knew he had it. Uh, yeah, all of the fun. Only problem is now he's on a three turn clock, so, but with that fetch, it's still a two, so that fetch is actually worthless. Can't use that. Okay, maybe he can. He's going to make a blocker. Um, that's not going to work out. Wait, huh? 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 He put that. Oh, he discarded that. I didn't realize that. Okay. Sweet. Pick, 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 pick. Yay! Look at that one. Uh, just going to go ahead and equip this sucker. That's the game, folks. We hit the land that we needed. All right. Let's go. Not by color. Not by that name. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's just big enough. Uh, so a Thopter Foundry deck, that's kind of interesting. Uh, you don't see those very often. This will actually be pretty good. It destroys off the counterbalance, regens us from most of the Wrath of God effects of the deck, as well as kills off all the Thopter tokens. And these will be pretty useful. That'll be pretty good. You've got Jace's and most likely Forces. Woo! We made stuff disappear again. Um, That's always interesting. This is a lot. I don't think I need all this. Uh, first off, I'm not going to need these. We know that. I don't really think I'll need that. We can cut this down. That'll be fine. I have time, so I don't need these. Um, these are going to be very useful. So that's three cards that are over the top and kind of gaudy. Yeah. Anything else in there that I really want to take a shot at? Not really. The rest of this looks pretty good. Okay, so let me get this out of the way. Thalia's will be good. Surgical Extractions will be good against that. I could just take these and just expect to not fight against that. But if he gets it online, I have no way to stop it. Well, I can decay the a single piece of it. Yeah, we'll leave those out. Maybe I should be pulling the Teagues because he only has Jace's. But that'll take care of any of the other stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll bang and mash. Had to make sure I was recording for a second. I freaked out. Um, you have no idea of how many of these things I've recorded or at least thought I was recording and then not recorded. But we will find out exactly what my opponent is, is thinking and what their plans are here in a moment. And why don't I just go ahead and sort that by name. We have done something here. Yes, submit a 13-card sideboard because two of them are magically missing. I wonder if I changed views. I think I did that already. Uh, let's... Uh, we don't get to count. If you counted that, good job. If you had to go back and rewind, you cheated. Um, I am going to keep this. We've got an answer for a lot of different things. We've got a turn two Bob. we got a, this. We're a land short from this. We're a couple land short from that. But, I mean, if we get this, we're one off from that. And really landing this is kind of the main thing that we want to do because he's going to have a hard time dealing with it. Uh, his clicks I'm not too worried about. We should probably actually have not sided out all of the swords just for the fact that he could have had Stoneforge Mystics himself. And yeah, 
that's a thing. No, I'm not going to mulligan. This hand is fine. What you got for me? I'm expecting a turn two counterbalance, although I'd also expect him to take those out because we're a green-black deck and most of them are running four abrupt decays. So, I mean, maybe he's thinking, hey, look, I can use this to, to stop him from blowing up this piece of the combo. But at the same time, we have these, which makes it good. Good. All I can think of now is Avenger Brothers. Brock Bat! Eee! All right. So we're playing his kind of slowish game and shifting our weight around to do other things now. Let's just... We're going to end up falling victim to a... Uh, what is that card? Blood Moon here. I know we will. So he's either got a Swords or he just didn't have a counter altogether. Looks like it was that one. All right. What you got? Will he get a non-basic? Because if he gets a non-basic... Okay. Huh. You're an Esper deck, eh? Well, sure. I'm going to pop this one down. Destroy target enchantment. Black from the other. Black and green. Do we get away? Do we pull it off? Yes, we do. Which means we also get in for two. We did draw land, but we're going to plant Bob down next turn. Mm. Excuse me. Bob is something that he has to counter. Sorry about that. He's in the process of burping, and it was just going awkwardly. Oh. Well, let's, let's do this. Here. Have your black. What do you got? Brainstorm. No, no, I'm not too worried about that. I'll play my guy afterwards. No brainstorm. All right. Black and that. There's a brainstorm. So answer required. Uh, worst answer that we could see from him would be terminus. Because it would kill our land as well. Although we kind of cheated that land into play, so I'm not too worried there. Uh, okay. That is interesting. Detention. Bob was a bad student. Just in case you didn't know. Uh, I'm going to go for Teague. I should have played Teague first, just in case you know I had to hit a Force of Will or something like that. And probably should play around days, but he's a control deck, and I don't think that's going to be an issue. So, yeah, no Jace for you. He may, uh, no, nope. yeah, no Jace for you. Although that also means no Batter Skull for us until we find a Stoneforge Mystic. EE for two would be really annoying. Perish. Just as bad. Uh, good thing we're still in the money here. Lots of gas. Lots of lots of gas. Um, yeah, even more gas because next turn that's the batter skull. We're just kind of throwing stuff out there. Eventually we'll run out of stuff. But for right now, I mean, hey, look, it's working out. And Abrupt Decay gets through this. Uh, also another card that the Golgari charm can eat. Hey, look, there's the Jace. Yep. Which we were expecting. We were expecting the Jace. Hey, but, I mean, we do all these things. I'm not expecting a Stifle from him. Another one of those, so that I can go white, green, and colorless. Whoop, and we want this one too. White, and that. Of course, this will give away what the card in our hand is. But if I search, maybe he'll think that he glitched and the game didn't tell him uh let's see three cards in hand compared to our one four cards in hand compared to our one it's an interesting battle that we're fighting too late for thalia to really make an appearance and have a, a great big presence 
Maybe she should have been what I dropped out of it. Supreme Verdict. Yep. We knew it was coming eventually. Let's get this down. I think we're fine to get this down. Ah, he had a spell pierce. All right. It was a risk. I took a chance. I figured, ooh. So he is a Miracles deck. I did get it right. Uh, we could get the Pulse. I'm going to wait to find out. We're not exactly dead yet. So he is a Miracles deck. Nope, not the Pulse. Uh, technically not dead yet, though. Let's do it that way. What you got? Force of Will. I'm going to take the Force of Will. He's got a disenchant. That'll be okay. We still get one more draw that we can take a look at. Because we're not dead. This is only 12. Huh. Potentially could have just let this go and kept everything else. I expect you to disenchant that. Yep. So in for 12 he goes, and hopefully, pulse, 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 nope, okay. I kind of figured that it wouldn't be, but hey, I mean, we only have two of them. Let's see, okay, so, okay, they're back, they're back. The diamonds disappeared, I guess. Sort by name. Uh, we do want the extractions. Let me actually sort this the right way. Uh, the Thalias, I do want... Do I want Sigarda in this case? I mean, it's such a high cost. It's something that Jace can't target. Not really. I kind of want the other Mystic instead. So what don't I want? I want all of that. I kind of don't know what I don't want. I guess I don't want this. It doesn't produce a, a mana. I have no diamonds in here, so it really doesn't serve a purpose um pride mage i'd like to keep i think i will cut the stone forge and just go with one stone forge and we'll cut a knight of the reliquary as well she's really good but at the same time she's not going to be exactly what we're looking for what we need so instead let's just go ahead and submit this and we'll hope to get there would you like to play first yes i'd like to play first why thank you and yes i'd like to mulligan this hand you just know me so well what in the next okay no, this will, this will work. This has stuff to do. Let's just go ahead and try and see what we can see. No wasteland, no wasteland, no wasteland, no wasteland. So there's stuff there. There's a lot of stuff. This is a win condition, though. I think I'll take the win condition. Mind you, we cannot regenerate from Parish. So just keep that in mind. Uh, that leaves Jaces and Clicks. Next turn, we get to look at the next three cards. We may end up just drawing them just because. Uh, he could get a bunch of different things. And even though we have this answer, like he could stall the game out. That's the most important thing. Let's see, what are we getting? We got an Abrupt Decay. So if he does go and get the Sphere, we... Uh, brainstorm oh he drew the spell pierce good job nice spell pierce there so what are we doing what's our plan of attack then uh right now it's just kind of fiddle around and do stuff sure here's the brainstorm full value brainstorm let's see the Enlightened Tutor gets the Counterbalance, which we have answer for. Like, we have an answer for anything he plays. We just need to be able to get through, deal with the counter magic aspect of it. Now we need to apply a clock. Uh, having to go down to five really hurt. But, I mean, we, can, we have stuff. So we can't be mad at that. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I'm trying to think exactly what we are going to do. As far as setting where that microphone is so that it can hear me no matter where I'm looking so that I can talk every direction because I kind of look around while I think um hmm what would 
I prefer to see. I'd like to see Thalia. Thalia in the land in the library would be awesome. Thalia would get around. I should have put it, brought in the other Stoneforge Mystic. And the reason I should have is because I know he's got the Parish. So that makes the Sigarda worse as well as the Knight, who will take forever. There's the Enlightened Tutor. Good thinker. Into top. Hey, that is awesome. You, sir, are champ. So he's got a top. That was actually really good. I should probably commend him on that. I don't think that you look there. I think that you hold that, play the fetch land, the uh, scalding tarn, and then pass the turn. I guess the Caracas was a thing. Wouldn't mind drawing mine. Uh, sure, Teague is a, a buddy. We get along well. So if that's a Jace on top, he can't put it down just yet. Yeah, he can. Back up. Does he realize? Yeah, he thought about it. But at least we can tie that up. Possibly another turn. Um, I'll wait one more turn for that. We're just going to pop him down again. I know it's dealing me a damage every turn, but it's using up one of his mana. Hopefully it's, it's causing him some type of mental anguish. I mean, maybe. Whatever was on top must not have been very good because he's not shuffling, or must have been pretty good because he's not shuffling. Now he is. Okay. We do have answers for this. We have four answers in our deck. And yes, this is a matchup where this being Vindicate would be better. Somebody had made mention on that, and they are very correct. Um, the control matchups that go longer, the Vindicates are better. I think somebody's just making fun of me. Let's just go ahead and take a look at this. It's been a couple turns. He's used a bunch of lands. He's had choice of... of what is that? Kill team much? Um, let's see. Of this, all of it, this is kind of a pointless take. Well, at least Teague stops that, so I'm going to cut that out. Um, I'm going to take your Parish. He's just stocking up on removal, which with me having absolutely nothing is, is a fine idea. It's just... It's kind of like, really? Really? Go for a Jace. Go for a Jace. Keep me off of lands. Alright. Game moves on. The plot rises. Come on. You can do better. Still want Sean Connery to redo that voice. Alright, that doesn't count. It's a good thought, but that doesn't count. Yay! We're just going to pass a turn. At end of turn, I'm going to get rid of this. We'll deal with that at end of turn. So he's, we know what his hand is outside of that one card. That one magical card. Uh, I'm going to take away my end of turn stop because I don't really need that. Oops, forgot about that. We're just going to let this go a little bit more. That's actually a really good draw, by the way. Um, so end of turn, I'm going to nuke this. I made a mistake there and forgot to do it. You can rip me apart in the comments. Go for it. Clicking a little bit too much. Let's see. So she should be at four and that's okay. I mean, these things happen. They're not the greatest. We at least got that in the yard. Hopefully we can, uh, take care of him while we're still waiting to deal with this. So oh, we need that the other way. Cancel. You do the green, you do the black. Yep. Non ti abbrare che far fa nome. And dead. Let's go ahead and get the scrubland. Surgical extraction, that's really good as well. Alright, and each player discard. 
So he's going to start getting rid of removal and things like that. We're just kind of charging up to hopefully nuke out a bunch of his lands and create an awkward situation. If I can get a chance to nail the Jaces, I will. Uh, he must like what's in his hand. If you put that on top of your deck, I'm going to take... What am I going to take? I think I'm going to take the Entreat the Angels. So yes, he's putting it on top of his deck. We're going to get rid of this one. Got rid of an island. We're going to get rid of these Entreats. If you've got more than one, good job. But unless that was a counter spell, you have two removal. Yep. Uh, there are no more Entreats. It looks as though Sword of the Meek... Let's knock that out just in case. He's kind of on do-nothing plan. Let's see here. Three Terminus, a Supreme Verdict, a Moat, Jace's, Counterbalance, one more... Uh, kind of has really nothing to do on his side, does he? Two Force of Wills left, a Spell Snare, one Counter Spell. So four counters, or that's a Spell Pierce, I'm sorry. And a ton of removal with, if we get this Sword of the Meek, those shut down. Um, and that leaves him with just Jace as a win condition. Okay, so he's only got four real win conditions left. I can live with that. Okay. Um, and we are going to... We're going to have to create a, a funny little setup here. And he's off the top just the same as we are now. Although that looks like a Jace. And nope, that's the EE. Okay. So there's the EE. Let's just... I'm going to draw another card. That'll work for me. Discard. We're going to get rid of the bog. Yep, there's the swords. So that'll get popped end of turn. I am just going to get the savannah and drop Teague down. I figure while we've got the opportunity, we can eat up more of his time. Um, he's got a blow two and then pop that. We've f six already. We're going to F6 on his turn. It looks like we're in this for a longer styled game. Uh, we do have answers to m almost all of his plays. Almost all, I say. It is an almost. Uh, if we can catch a swords... Okay, this looks like a Jace. Yep. But we do have an answer for that. We do need to stop it from be getting out of control. So that'll leave two Jaces left. Found a top. Uh, we get rid of Caracas. We get to pulse this Jace. So that's black, black, green. Hopefully that is not Force of Will. It was not. Hopefully he doesn't have another Jace on top of his deck. Looking during upkeep, I'm going to assume that it, he did not. Although his cards are going back pretty quick there. Another top, that means that there is not a Jace. Uh, we get to drop Teague. Should have dropped this first. There's a possibility that, the, that one of the cards in his hand is Spell Pierce. Dang it. It was Counterspell. Okay, so it didn't make a difference. His Swords goes and eats Teague. Or he looks. Well, I guess he's got five mana, so that's a thing. Uh, how many of those Swords are in there? Just F6ing on his turn. We've got one sword in there did I do anything no so he's, he's got the one sword in his deck and the one in the graveyard or the one in his hand and the one in the graveyard he's at least drawing one card per turn 
That's a good thing. Um, he can get rid of this at any time. For being a mold of four, we are lasting a lot longer than I thought we would. Alright, so there's that. Batter Skull. Not the card I was hoping for, but Batter Skull is a win condition. We need two more lands for it. The Bajuka Bog is kind of a letdown there. Dang it. Alright, so he's found a Jace. He should be thought or Fate Sealing me. Like, this is actually an instance where Fate Sealing me is the better choice. The reason being, even though I have pulses and things like that, you have double top active and you're trying to win the game. Okay, so there's Thalia. Let's go ahead and pop her down. And Thalia creates a situation where Jace now is doing exactly the only thing that he can do. Um, we don't have to worry about Angels. We're worried about... He's got one more Jace outside of that in the deck. And the Thopter Foundry combo. And then outside of that, he's got to just have removal for this. So there's the Terminus. That's fine. Yep. She can go on the bottom. So what are we trying to nail? If we get another extraction, we're going to hold it. Because he's not using his Jace in a, pro in a proper way for me to actually care right now. But we're one land away from being able to batter Skull. Which again will kill Jace. He is looking hard and deep. I'm just going to keep F6ing on things that I don't have to care about. He will find it eventually. But that Jace could be a lot higher than it is right now. Come on. You still need two pieces in order to do that. Uh, there's a pulse. Aiming that pulse right there. So he's got the spell pierce, no problem. I could have held that until I had another land, but the Jace becomes an interesting situation. Uh, he's got two forces left. Two forces left is all he's got left for counter magic. That's something to be aware of. We know that from earlier. Um, so this this Jace has one counterpart. It will have to make bounces here. Uh, the Arbor is also still in the deck, so keep that in mind. He does have three Terminus, which I'm assuming he's getting set up on top. Uh, Kind of creating an interesting situation for him. Let's go ahead and pop this down. I assume that this will also meet a Ghastly Demise. Not the literal card, but in the sense of like a Swords to Plowshare or something like that. He's gone through enough of his deck that he should be finding these things. Otherwise, even this will cause a problem. Terminus. It's Terminus number two. If he's drawing Terminus, then I'm not worried about it at all. Uh, it means that he's only getting one draw off of that. And any shuffle effect, we know that the bottom of our library goes Thalia, then Bob. So it's any shuffle effect increases that density, or will increase the density of the rest of our deck, because two of the creatures are higher up than they're expected to be. Uh, he made, What is he just charging his hand up for? We could have been dealt with by now, by the way. So that is why, occasionally, his plus two ability is a good win condition. There's three tops. Another Bob, that's a great thing for me to see. I don't mind seeing extra Bob. He's used up two of his Terminus. He does, keep in mind, have the uh, Academy Ruins, so that could create a situation with where he could lock Bobs out and pretty much all of the spells that we have. Uh, Supreme Verdict, a single Terminus, two Swords to Plowshares, um, a Detention Sphere, these are all things that are in his deck. I'm trying to think back to his deck list and remember it. There's the third one. So there's two more left. He is still gung-ho on winning this this way. Yep. Uh, Golgari Charm. That will buy us time, but not take the win. I wish that this had the Exile a Graveyard thing to it. Uh, if we get a Wasteland, we can waste this out. So we found one piece to it. Honestly, this is probably the best piece to it. I mean, he could probably pop that by this point. And I ah, sacking tops. Okay. No problem. Using it for card advantage. That'll work too. There's 
two of them. Uh, so what do we want? We want abrupt decay for that. If we get an abrupt decay, he just puts it back on top of his library. So if we get an abrupt decay, we also want something to... What did he put back on top? He put top back on top of his library. Okay, I see what he's doing. He's just going to try and create a, an army that way. Yep. Still brainstorming with Jace. You know, I can't help but feel like if I had had two more cards, this would have been over a long, long time ago. I'm going to take this three. We're going to hold this for a little while. I had a feeling that I'm going to gain more life here shortly. Yep, there's a top. There's a top. I would expect that he puts a top on top of his library. There's the second Thopter Foundry. Uh, that's going to be a thing. So, go ahead and grab that. Next turn we will die. Ah, we're done. Okay. There's no real way for me to deal with that at this point. If I had had this out there already, there was the possibility. But not like it is. I can play this or I can kill everything at the end of turn. And then pl try and play this. It gets bounced and die the next turn. In which case I'm going to be drawing Bob in a land. So nothing but nothing that'll help. Um, that would have been helpful. That would have been helpful. That would have been helpful. Not as helpful seeing as he's got two of them now. Or he's got both of them. But yeah. These things happen. Mulligans happen. That is the name of the game. And I will see you all again next round. Bye-bye.